Hello, Nest Watchers. Today we're going to talk about accessing your personal data. People often ask, what can I do with my data once I've entered it? How do I change data from previous years? And how can I share this data with others? And there are two main ways that I'll show you today that you can interact with your old data. If you just want to see and or edit your old data, I recommend using this site summary page. Now you can find this by clicking in your view nest site list. There's a second icon under each nest that says View Site Summary, and it looks like an open book. You can also find this on your nest map by clicking on a marker. Click that second icon that says View Site Summary to be taken to an overview of the nest history. You'll see at the top a description of this site and its details, with a link to edit those details if you need to. You, and you can scroll down to see a history of the attempts. They will be in reverse chronological order with the oldest one at the bottom and the most recent one at the top. This nest site just happens to have one in the nest history, so it's the only one I see. Here's a summary of what happened, and I can see the visits that I made by clicking Show Visit Records. Now, if I notice that something's incorrect, I can always go back and change a nest even if I've already closed and summarized it. You'll see here on the right side of the picture a link that says edit attempt. You can click that and make any changes necessary to this information. Let's say you notice that you entered a date incorrectly and you need to change it. You can go ahead and make that change and then once you're satisfied that everything's okay, save the data. You'll see a yellow bar that says your data have been saved, and now you're free to go back to your data page. That old nest will be updated. So that's how you view all of your old data and make any changes to it that are necessary. Another way to access your personal data are through our data download section. Underneath the map and the quick summary, you'll see three separate downloading sections. So this is three different kinds of data that you can download from Nestwatch. To see a description of the information, just hover over the question mark beside each type. You can download your nest site descriptions, your raw breeding data, or a species summary. And you must have Excel in order to download a spreadsheet of your data. Simply choose the type of data that you would like to download, Select a group if necessary, or all sites can be selected. And then choose a year. You do need to download years individually at this point. And once you've set the parameters that you're interested in, click Download Now and say OK. This will automatically open up an Excel spreadsheet on your computer. The first page that you'll see is just a data disclaimer with the date and the terms of the data. What you're really interested in is the second tab at the bottom which says Breeding Summary. Go ahead and go to the bottom in the middle tab and click on Breeding Summary. You'll see here that I've only entered one nest in this particular box that I selected for download. But here are all the information that I've entered about it. Just scrolling right to left if we need to. And if I want to see those site visits that I made, and we'll click on the third tab that says Site Visits. Here you can see a history of all the nest checks that I made. And you'll also see that that last change that I made has been updated in this spreadsheet. Now, any nest that you've archived will also appear in your data downloads. So, those are the three ways that you can archive or access your old data, share it with others, or just keep a record on your own computer.